trailer hitch. No way. Oh, I'm gonna have to tow a trailer with it. Well guys, welcome back to the infamous project. Shipbox 2.0 is sitting here behind me. It's a windy day. It literally has just shown up, so I'm gonna chat with the driver and um, get this thing unloaded. I can't believe it. Actually, kind of scared to put air on this tire. Look at that. This whole car. I don't know, guys. I, I might have overpaid for this one. Holy hell. Look at that front bumper. Yeah, we're going to have some stuff to talk about on this one, guys. 100%. All right, guys, I know it's really windy, so my apologies in advance. Um, I don't know what I got myself into on this one. Guys, I might have overpaid. I paid less to ship it here than I did for the car. In all transparency, $900 for the car, $800 to ship it. He threw in an extra set of shitty white seats that were better, maybe that's than what's in here. The one thing that I did score and he, the seller of the car actually went and picked up for me, which is super nice of him, was a set of uh, Recaros here. So these I'm into for 350 bucks. Not bad, right? They should actually look maybe not too bad in here. But holy hell, guys, like I was peeking through here. Looks like he cut in for the, uh, the fuel pump. Let me get the keys out here. Look at this graphic equalizer. I didn't even realize that some of these radios had like a balanced slider here. I guess because it's like all one big unit. Anyways, let's get this key out of the ignition. All right, so amazingly enough, this car actually came with paperwork. So we got uh, Warcraft from Ford, 1987. So I guess this is like the original radio. There's the title. Guys, that's sort of what I was saying. The title on this thing is so old, it's brown. So anyways, let me get all this stuff back in the bag here before it flies away. Go in the trunk here. Whew. All right. Well, that's one way to uh, access the fuel pump. Oh, this spare tire well. We've got another. Oh my God, it's missing. Holy hell, guys, this is like exactly like the other ship box, except this one's just rotted out. At least I can get to the fuel sending unit, but uh, yeah, there is nothing. Damn, guys. <laughs> I don't know about this one. VIN stickers are all there. It's maybe about the only thing. I gotta take some pictures of this while I'm filming. Because uh, I know Lewis is dying to know what's going on here. Oh man, I'm honestly, I'm, I don't even know if we can get into the passenger side. The 
guy said it was just surface rust and it wasn't rusty on the floor like the trunk well i honestly i don't care that much about now the door posts have yeah, there's some rust there there's a hole you know this is the uh this is the florida rust guys if you guys haven't witnessed florida rust well you're about to now all right so frame rails amazingly are not bad i don't know what is going on here so he told me wow look at this even this is all jacked up so he said he sprayed starter fluid in here and the car fired right up so let's see if there's oil in it oh yeah there is see animals collecting their shells and their nuts power steering pulleys free ac's free alternator smog pump yeah that one seized no big deal there wide open throttle relay duct tape repair alternator duct tape repair but uh, all the wires are hooked up look at how nice the uh, pressure switch wires look you know and you gotta keep your AC in good shape when you live in Florida. But all, all the end stickers are all there. I, I can't get over this bumper. Like, a couple self tapping screws along the front right into the uh, rebar support, and that's gonna be fixed just like new. So, I thought the mileage was gonna be a little lower. I thought the last like registered mileage on the car, I want to say was um, 36,000 or somewhere around there back in like 1996. And the odometer now is reading 80,000. So I am confident that that's 80,000 original miles. I got to try and kick this passenger door open, guys. Let me get this other seat out of here. So this seat has literally rotted off of the seat frame or the, uh, the track. I'm not falling through the floor. Like a little underside peak. So he didn't lie. The floors, at least here, aren't horrible. Like some surface, there's a breakthrough point there. All the catalytic converters. Look at the cherry bombs hanging. So uh yeah, a cherry bomb exhaust is no more. I'll probably get 400 bucks out of the catalytic converters, so I'm excited about that. I've almost recouped half of my investment. So let's see here. So that seat track is pretty much, yeah, I'm gonna have fun extracting bolts here. Um, unreal. Someone tried to get at this like a while ago. It actually looks like a newer, newer pump and pickup. So somebody tried to get it going. Maybe I'll spray a whole bunch of lube in there. And uh, whew, I really need to get that door open. Anyways. 
I need to see for myself. Can of lube to try and get the door open or let it start penetrating, some penetrating oil. Uh, booster pack and some brake clean. I want to see if this thing starts. So let's see here. Well, I don't even need to shut the camera off. So working on here, black notch project, stripping all little tidbits out of the engine bay. So that's the episode I was working on when this car decided to show up into my life. And it is a hot one in Texas today, guys. Okay, so I got this. And um, yeah, I don't know if this was a good decision or a bad decision. Why not? Oh, here we go. Got my uh, penetrating fluid. Oh, I'm just, I'm shaking my head. I'm actually lost for words. Usually I can talk and talk and talk. In fact, some people say I talk too much in my videos. And uh, here I am, lost for words. Over this so-called ship box. So armed and equipped guys oh, just looking at it oh, look at this thing just look at it all right so let's try and uh like this body kit is going to get held on with self tappers like once i bang all the metal straight okay let's see here like I know the striker is somewhere in that vicinity. That can penetrate. Let's see here. The old NOCO out. So this guy said the windows and like the lights. In fact, let me just ground this to here. It's probably a better ground. Yeah, so he's selling me on, saying, you know, all the lights and everything work, so let's see here. I'm gonna have to override this guy. Oh no, is it out of power? Usually I can override stuff here. There we go. Now we're in override mode. I hear the dinger. All right. Did I turn the lights on? I did. One light works. Let's see here. I think the tail lights are actually working. All right. Ignition forward. Oh. I hear the hydraulic fluid pissing everywhere. So yeah, the top is, uh, the top could work. If the seals were good, I guess. Let's see here. Too much guys, I might have to get a battery out here probably. Do I have anything that I can easily get a battery from? Let me try and get a battery, I'll be right back. Let us see here. Battery trays even cooked out of it.
give it give it extra extra power Guys, let's see. It turns over, but I don't know. Maybe we need some more in there. Maybe some more brake clean. Things are kind of on an angle. The brake clean might actually not be going down into the uh, down the runners. Let's see. I want to hear this thing fire up. If I don't hear it fire up, then come on. I'm definitely going to be not in as a positive attitude about the car because I was told it fires up. So when you're told something, you want to make sure it's true. So in reality, I'm assuming, I don't know, hopefully the fuel lines are actually okay. The rubber lines are probably no good in all reality. Um, the pump isn't pumping, which is good. I can't hear it. So it's not like it's trying to pump bad fuel in anything. Let's see here. I did hear it want to try and start to run. I honestly, I did. There. Maybe I flooded it. All right, we run. Runs not bad. Really running off that brake clean. There we go. All right, so I might have flooded it a little bit with the brake clean, but it actually allowed the thing to run for a good 30 seconds there. <laughs> um, couple ticks. Um, I don't think anything too crazy in reality. Actually, shit guys, I just found the horn button for the uh, yellow vert here. Again guys, I got this thing for sale. I got it all cleaned up. It's actually looking pretty good. It's not a perfect paint job. You know, you got some cheesy overspray and stuff in a few places, but this interior, oops, oh, don't need to lose that again. Actually, that's off a different steering wheel. Interesting, enough about that. Okay, the car starts. Um, I got my work cut out for me to see if I can get that passenger side door open. 
we'll let the penetrating fluid do its thing there. But um, there you have it, an introduction to Shipbox 2.0. Call it the uh, sunburnt vert or sun, sun shit stang, topless shit. I don't know. I really don't know. This side actually looks a little cooler than the other side. It's got some little bit of paint left. I need to find a door molding. I don't care how shitty it makes the car look. The car deserves a damn door molding, Tom. I know you're watching this video. It's getting a goddamn door molding. So just saying. Um, I know Gary's going to laugh when uh, he sees that the uh, spare tire well needs to be enclosed in like the other ship box was. And hopefully, yeah, maybe. What the hell did they do here? Looks like they were trying to hotwire the pump off the tail light. Anyways, we'll get that sorted out. I'm sure that tank is a disaster anyways. Figure out how I'm gonna clean the inside here as best as I can. In fact, the interior really doesn't look that bad. I'm almost surprised that I can say that. Look at, there's like nothing left inside the sun visors. They're just like pockets of nothing. So, um, yeah, those will get ripped off. Um, oh, I didn't see about the windows. Did say the windows. Oh, no shit. Yeah, the rear, the shark fins are stuck. I can't believe those front ones go. Let's see, I think the radio works. Oh, no way. What? No way. I'm going for it, guys. I'm going for a station. No, it's not picking up anything. Oh, I got it. Prosper Health Coverage is ready to help. Okay. Income level. Prosper Health Coverage can assist you year round. Call at five. All right, we're ready to cruise. Unreal. Unreal. When it comes to plumbing emergencies, a problem right. like same day service really matters. <laughs> So our electrical isn't too bad. We just gotta go over all the mechanical. Like these tires, I'm telling you, I don't even know. I don't know how those tires hold air. I feel like this thing is just ready to blow up right now, the way that it sits. But um, unreal guys. Hey right, guys, the wind's really starting to pick up. I'm sure that's annoying for you guys to listen to. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Um, lots more to come. And I'm excited, I need to get those 19 inch saloons on here. We need to do wheels and stance, rule number one. Wheels and stance will motivate you to do the rest of the work to your car, no matter how shitty it is, I promise you. Write that down. Until next time, we'll see you back here on the Infamous Project.